Hello everybody, welcome back. Glad you're here. Uh, it's good to see you again. I have made it. Okay, I'm just I'm just gonna put that out there. I'm somebody now. Uh, I started this channel back in May, I think. Uh, and I was just like, I just wanted to like get into YouTube and kind of like do some experimental stuff, get to learn the tools, the the stuff that I was going to need to know in order to hopefully develop some channels that I want to develop. Not just this one. Um, it kind of blew up a little bit. I'm right at like 3000 subs now, which is amazing. I can't thank you guys enough for it. Um, and one of the things I, I wanted to do early on was, was interact with the people that commented on my videos and get feedback i want comments I, I i want the i want the suggestions to find music i've never heard of and introduce you guys to music you've never heard of so that's kind of the the title that i use music you've never heard um because i like to find stuff i've never heard before and i like to introduce it to people and i like to see it grow and flourish and explode and do whatever if it ever does that, because I grew up listening to a lot of music that a lot of people around me didn't listen to. I was listening to a lot of European metal. I was listening to a lot of experimental um, music, uh, a lot of Christian rock, uh, Christian metal uh, that people in my church didn't even want to listen to, you know. And so I've always found myself listening and, and, and I have a very eclectic taste. Like I love uh, uh, symphonic. I love, I love classical music. Uh, I like jazz to a degree. I like blues to a degree. I think a lot of it had to do with like working in a lot of bars and just being exposed to a lot of different music and a lot of different bands. And, uh, there's so many good bands out there that people will just never hear because they're local or they're, they just never blow up for whatever reason. But there's a lot of talent that just doesn't go appreciated. So I like finding that stuff. And I found a lot of it recently and you guys have been commenting on it. And I, and I did one, um, uh, a few weeks back. I did this one right here. Uh, Thomas LaCroix rooting for you, which was, a, which is a cover of, a, 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 a what's her name? London song and got some pretty good reactions to it. And then I got a notification that Thomas had actually replied to me. And I'm like, holy cow, somebody I reacted to actually commented on my reaction. That's amazing. So I've made it. I'm somebody. Thank you very much for everything you've done to make me who I am today. I just appreciate it. <laughs> but he wrote and he wanted me to check out uh, a song from Linda Ronald, Ronald, who I've never heard of. Uh, she have has an album called The Heights which I have now learned came out in April. So it's a brand new album. She's an independent artist. Apparently the two of them made this album on their own. Um, as far as I can tell with little I've seen, um, they pretty much just like did this on like a laptop. I'm assuming seeing like some of the behind the scenes uh, stuff and, and not really listening to anything because I wanted to like approach this really fresh. Um, but I did see the trailer for The Heights and uh, was instantly intrigued by, by, by the music. And I was like, okay, I got to check this out. Uh, I looked her up. She only has 130 subs on her channel. Uh, so please support her. Um, if you dig this music, we're going to find out what this music's all about right now. This is a song called Innocence. Uh, Thomas was like, I'd love for you to react to any song from Lena Ronald's The Heights. Uh, she's one of my best friends, an amazing songwriter. We made the record just the two of us. Tables have turned. Innocence and coming home would be my personal suggestion. So I did a search, just a quick search for Lena Ronald and Innocence because it had fewer letters. <laughs> and, and I got this. Um, so... I'm like, yeah, uh, I'll check this out. This this is the only single I could find of the Innocence, um, and and I hope it's a I hope it's a good copy. Uh, the it only has four views, so this is definitely music all of us have never heard before, except Thomas, obviously. Um, so we're gonna check it out and see what it's like, and uh, just give this a good review. I hope. And, uh, you know, I mean, I'm going to be honest, uh, 
<laughs> and, I, and I'm just hoping that this is something that just blows me away uh, like Thomas did when I first heard him. So without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, this is Linda Ronald, Innocence, from her latest album, uh, The Heights. Started so innocently, there's no way that you could know the power in your make believe and just how far this would go okay first off first impression i dig that music uh like like you know this sounds like a like a bard getting ready to pluck out a song in some pub in 1492 uh and then all of a sudden you have like that deep electronic bass behind it. You know, that little bumping. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds really, really good. Somehow through your eyes they materialized and we could see. You came at the right time. We needed someone needed to believe. Stories took shape to the music of water on stone. Up in the joy of the game, so deep in its world, thoughts came, ideas took hold. Somehow through your eyes they materialized and we could see. You came at the right time, we needed someone needed to believe. I wish I had lyrics to go with this. Um, because I... I I don't I don't hold on to lyrics. I have to see them. I and, and I just I have to hear them a lot of times before they sink in because they just they I'm like listening to it and trying to remember it while I'm listening to it and, and I just don't keep up. But she said something about listening to the songs that were created by Mortar on Stone. I was like, wow, that's a great sound. That's a great lyric. Um, and then and then when you when you want the next line to rhyme with it like she stretched it out into a different measure like like uh something something so cold but it wasn't just like she delivered the line and like dun da 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 cold i uh i need to go back and listen to this song after i'm done with it because it's really intriguing me i'm hearing like a lot of like really alliterative and, and illusory uh lyrics in here her voice is really good like it's um I'm, I'm I'm guessing alto, the uh, and and but on the higher end of it, and it, and it's kind of like got this lilt to it, but it has like this little bit of like um, roughness in the back of it. I think, I think that's what I'm hearing. I'm like hearing so many different things at one time because this music is intriguing, the lyrics are intriguing, and her voice is intriguing. And I'm like, ah, it's too much intrigue. So okay. <laughs> We need an innocence. We need an innocence. We need an innocence. We need it more. Oh, oh, oh. That's gorgeous. Like, I'm going to have to listen to way more of her. 
Um, it's not just her voice, though. And it's not just the lyrics. And it's not just the music. It's the way she's delivering it. The way she's breaking up the lyrics. She had that lyric at the very beginning. You bring, bring men to your knees. Um, I'm not sure. I can't remember. But then it was like the, the cynics lay down at your feet so that the, the, they can dream of... And you want it to rhyme, and but she brings in like a whole nother measure or two in front of the rhyme, and it just fits in there. That's something. That's something. The cold, and and just the way she's delivering the 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 words, the lyrics, and the music is just really, really, really awesome. I love this. It really has a great sound to it, and it has this, and it has this still great like medieval sound, like coming from. You know, like if a, if a bard got caught at a at a DJ show or something, you know, have you have like this electronic behind it, not really deep house or trance, maybe trance, uh, but like this electronic rhythm beneath it that's really driving it. But the but the that simple string on top of it is just really really nice. It's really cool. I love the song. was fantastic that was really great those that chorus in the background just slowly driving up and up as she's repeating that that verse that chorus is just really sounds good it really it, it, it honestly and i'm not gonna lie here and this is not a dig this is a compliment uh it reminded me of the theme from Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I think it was Odyssey. Um, it just the it just had that feeling to it that uh, just driving it up and I can't sing. I know that the uh, but the, with the chorus behind it while she's just maintaining that chorus behind it, just amping it up so you're just getting more and more impression out of it. Just really great uh, 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 arrangement there. You came at the right time We needed someone needed to believe We needed innocence We needed innocence We needed innocence We needed more Wow That's fantastic Um that's a great song. That just, man, that just put me in a mood to like really watch something with dragons in it or something. I don't know. <laughs> the The lyrics are really great. I wasn't able to like remember all these lyrics, but it's really talking about, I, th I think it's about regret maybe and getting through and like, could you change it if you, if you, um, she was going through that one chorus I'll back it up. Hold on. Huh. 
How many times did you wonder if things could change it? How many times did you wonder if things could change if the truth could be told? Would you dare to go down to the water? If you speak the words with the magic girl called. So it's like, yeah, so she's like, like, if you could, like, if you have these regrets and, and if you could go back and change them, do you have these regrets? Would you go back and change them? Would you, would you take that chance? Like, so did you like learn from it or are you, you know, are you, or do you like not want to learn from that mistake that you made from that regret that you have? We need more innocence, right? Because we, because we're no longer innocence. We made those decisions. We have those regrets. We have those things that we have to live with. That sounds like, I think that's what she's trying to say. If I'm off, please forgive me, Linda, <laughs> but it, but it's a great, it's a great, uh, 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 it's a great concept there and just beautifully arranged. I'm not going to lie. Just wonderful song. Really great. Um, I, I can't believe that was done by just two of you in, in, you know, in your, in your bedroom or whatever that was that I saw on your website. I mean, on your channel. Um, that's just crazy. Look, you guys need to go check her out. Okay. Her late, her name is Linda Ronald. Uh, I'm going to post the video uh, below. I'm going to post her channel below. Please go and subscribe and check out her music. Um, I did see that uh, her most recent video had uh, had her performing live for about 15 minutes. So probably two or three songs in there. I'm going to have to go check that out as well. And 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 get her album, The Heights. If that if that album is anything like the, the if, if the rest of that album is anything like this song like it's just going to be really really good and, and a solid production so please check it out thomas thank you very much for suggesting it i really appreciate that and um hey thank you guys for being here thank you for checking me out please check out my other stuff and uh i'll see you next time y'all have a good one love you